Hello, I'm Joe Walensky, and I'm the program manager for ConveyUX, which is Seattle's annual user experience conference, coming around again for our sixth annual year. That's going to be February 27, 28, and March 1. And uh, as we move through the holiday period, I'm at my home office and again with the opportunity to talk to another one of our uh, interesting presenters for this year's conference. Today, I am speaking with Leonardo Montero de Miranda. Hello, Leonardo, how are you today? Hi, Joe, it's okay. It's, here. it's good to uh, have you as part of the conference. And so I'm uh, in my home on Vashon Island near Seattle. Uh, tell us a little bit about where you're speaking to us from. I'm speaking from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, uh, pretty far. Uh, and uh, down here right now is 32 degrees, very warm. I uh, can't wait to be there on your cold mountains. Well, uh, we're uh, looking forward to uh, having you here as well. And uh, it's great to have you as one of our, uh, this year, many uh, international speakers that we have as part of the conference. And uh, a good place to start would be to hear a little bit about your background and the types of things that you're involved in now. Uh, I'm essentially a designer and uh, I started uh, as a designer, a uh, graphic designer, uh, working basically on print media, brand identity, uh, and then I migrated to interaction design. And I think that was the, the big change on my life, on my career, uh, because design uh, became uh, a methodology for me and uh, not just style, layout, and beauty, and uh, I started to, to realize that this methodology could, uh, could, trans transfor could transform like uh, products or innovate on all kinds of ways. And then I, I started to, to study UX design, design thinking, uh, those subjects became uh, became like part of my life, my everyday life. Um, and, and that drove me to the agile methodology. Uh, and today my focus uh, now is on agile methodology and design methodology. And, and I try to create the best environment for people that I work uh, to get them engage, engaged and, understand, and, and get them to understand that, the things that we, we do here. Well, uh, you, you uh, uh, work at Globosat Digital Platforms. Uh, tell us a little bit about your organization and maybe some of the things that you have going on with projects. Yeah, yeah. As I, as you told, uh, as you said, uh, I work as a product owner and at Globosat Digital Platform, taking care of the sports products. Uh, Globosat is the largest broadcasting TV, pay TV in Latin America, and has three sport channels. Uh, sport TV, a multi-channel sports. Premier, a channel dedicated to Brazilian soccer. And another channel dedicated to U UFC and MMA events, you know, those, those fight events. Uh, this, this channel is called Combate. And uh, I have one agile team here uh, that take care of these three products. We have these three products on, on uh, iOS, on Android systems, and uh, we take care of them. And not right now we are adding new features to these uh, applications like uh, uh, live stats, scores, real-time video highlights, push notifications, Chromecast, you know, we are doing like improve, improvements on all those uh, products. And next year we have the World Cup, uh, the World Cup in Russia, and uh, we are working on uh, uh, an application for the World Cup also. 
Let's well, uh, an exciting application of your uh, that your work. I think when uh, it, it's able to uh, extend itself out into the international space like that. Uh, I know that you've been to the Convey UX conference before, and so this is a return visit now as a speaker. Uh, I was wondering if you have some uh, insights or comparisons with what you've seen from your visit to the United States about user experience here and how that may be similar or different to the types of things that you experience uh, in Rio in Brazil. Yeah, uh, I've been there in 2014 as a, as a uh, attendee huh? and uh, was very nice. And uh, I think that uh, you, you guys in North America you are a bit far away from us here in South America about uh, UX uh, design and those um, uh, in, in those kinds of uh, methodologies and uh, and uh, I think here we don't have like too much specialization specializations on design. You know, um, we are starting here in in Brazil uh, the UX field. And uh, not much uh, companies have like a new X department uh, to take care of the uh, user experience, and uh, that 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 is that is a thing that amazed me. You know that uh, that makes me uh, uh, go outside and go to to United States, to Europe, to learn more about a uh, new way to 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 develop and innovate on on products services and uh, but I think we are on, on the right path you know uh, I think we are, we are the right path that's it well uh, when you're here for the conference uh, your activity will be one of our uh, half day workshops which is on the first day of the conference and uh, those are all included in the uh, in the conference price so everybody has the opportunity to uh, view those and uh, participate in those and your topic is building your visual facilitation skills I mean that's certainly an area that uh, that I know a lot of us are interested in uh, building our skills in uh, why don't you talk a little bit about your workshop and the types of things that people can expect to do and learn yeah don't expect too much talk on this session that's good huh? because uh because of my accent, <laughs> but a lot of uh, hands-on activities, you know, as the, the name uh, said, né, described, uh, it's a visual uh, workshop, so we, we, we're going to have lots of uh, visual activities. Uh, I've been talking a lot about this subject this year in some conferences here in Brazil, and uh, I'm very happy to share all these methods and techniques with you guys there in February. Uh, what's the definition of visual thinking or visual facilitation? It's a way to transform your ideas and thoughts on visual representations or drawings. Uh, I don't know if you know, but the brain uh, processes images 60,000 60, times faster than text. And uh, I think as a manager, right now I'm a manager, now I'm product owner, uh, I use images to help communicate ideas uh, with more clarity uh, to align more alignment and uh, more engagement with my team and um, and the, the, the type of things that people will uh, see on on this uh, workshop is like uh, understanding the language of visual thinking uh, overcoming overcoming coming your fears and realize in, anyone can draw and uh, be able uh, to trans translate thoughts and ideas in, into visual representations and, uh, and, and to see that the power of, uh, of simple drawings, you know, uh, that's, a, that's one thing that amazed me because I'm, I'm, right now I'm 40 years old and after 20 years of, uh, of professional career, I started to draw again, you know. Uh, before I, I used to do interface design, you know, UI, 
but that's that's not drawing, you know. And right now I'm drawing again, and and it's working a lot, you know, because people people are interested in in, in drawings, you know. When you talk too much, they start like to, to fly away, you know, to daydreaming, huh? they dream. So avoid daydreaming. Drawing is a very good uh, technique, and I hope that you come to workshop to learn how. Even if you don't regularly draw, you can you can take take advance for in, on this. Well, I think this can be a great addition to the conference, uh, great addition to our workshops, and of course, we're uh, uh, very pleased that you'll be able to uh, join us. So uh, after you make the trip from Brazil to the United States, uh, we'll see you here in a couple of months. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm going to Vancouver before, you know, take some days off. I'm going to the Banff National Park, I think, on Alberta with my brother. My brother is Canadian, and uh, I hope to see you guys there. All right, well, uh, that'll be a great trip for you as well, so we'll see you then. Thanks a lot, Leonardo.